opening up one's memory beyond the present realm of experience, first needs a very strong psychological foundation, not spiritual, psychological foundation. Because if you don't have a very stable psychological foundation, if the screens of memory break, people will have a shattered mind. If living here as a yogi is so ecstatic and blissful, why would one want to escape the cycles of rebirth? <laughs> you must take away the word escape. Well, uh, I'm asking all of you, I'm sure every one of you have been to school, well, for some of you, school might not have been a pleasant experience, but for many, school was a good experience, especially those of you who didn't care to learn much or come first and things like that. You just enjoyed the company of your friends and play and fun and whatever. School was a good experience. So when you finished your schooling, did you escape from the school? Or did you pass out of the school? We don't know, maybe Giordano escaped from his school, that means he didn't pass. Generally most people pass and they go to the next stage of life. When you're in school, however good the school is, would you want to go to the college? Definitely. This is the nature of the human being. However good this is, you want to go to the next phase of life. Something is good, so I will do the same thing forever. That's a foolish way of looking at life. That is not coming because life is so fantastic for you, that is coming out of fear of stepping into the unknown, totally unknown, <laughs> absolutely unknown. This happened at one point bad times came and Shankaran Pillai became a construction worker, construction worker, carrying bricks up many floors. Then his co-worker, another person who was also labor there, noticed Shankaran Pillai is carrying more bricks than what is asked by the foreman, more. Everybody is carrying eight bricks, Shankaran Pillai is carrying twelve bricks. So eight bricks itself is quite heavy and you're going up many floors, when they go there they just throw it down and come. The pleasure is coming down empty-handed. So, at lunch time, this other laborer asked Shankaran Pillai, why are you carrying twelve bricks? What is needed is only eight. If you carry eight, you'll get your full labor. Why are you carrying twelve? Shankaran Pillai said, you don't know that fool of a foreman, I am carrying the same set of bricks up and down. Brilliant! <laughs> so, there are many people like this, they're carrying on with the same stuff up and down, up and down, punarapi jananam, punarapi maranam, going on and on. This is happening simply because life is compassionate, creation is compassionate. It sets screens for your memory. If these screens are broken, you will be so miserable right now. If you realize you've been doing the, doing the same stupid stuff hundred times over and still you're doing the same thing with the same misunderstandings, you will want to kick yourself. So, one who has broken these screens and not become miserable because of that, this is why 
opening up one's memory beyond the present realm of experience, first needs a very strong psychological foundation, not spiritual, psychological foundation. Because if you don't have a very stable psychological foundation, if the screens of memory break, people will have a shattered mind. When people are struggling with one lifetime of experience, not even full, lived fully, by the time they're thirty, they're struggling with their emotions, their thoughts, their memories and they're miserable. Suppose you open up three lifetimes of memory, you believe these people can handle it? They'll go totally off. So because of this, life's compassion, creation's compassion, he's holding memory blocks separately. So you don't realize you're doing the same thing again and again. It doesn't matter how beautiful, exuberant, wonderful it is, if you repeat the same thing over and over again, I'll do one thing, whatever is your favorite music, I will play it, not here, I will play it in your mind, non-stop, next twenty-one days. <laughs> With this fantastic music you will go crazy, because it's playing non-stop. So anybody who realizes the same things are going cyclical again and again, will naturally want to break the cycle. It is not you're trying to escape. You have found a stairway to something beyond. If you go, if you leave one phase of life and go to another phase of life, that is not called an escape, that is called a promotion or liberation. <laughs>